Hey everybody, it's Cindy here, your fearless leader of confident women. You can have it all. And very, very often the subject of dealing with negative people comes up. So I do address this frequently, but it's come up again. And so in case you've missed some other times that I've talked about it, I thought I'd offer some insight on how to deal with those negative people in our lives that we feel like their energy really drags us down, right? When we're trying to see the glass half full or the, the glass overflowing, I, I, did I say half full? Yeah, half full, right? Not in, <laughs> Anyway, the, for those of us who try to be optimistic and positive and see the best of, of life going on, sometimes it's very, very difficult to be around people who have a more negative mindset. <clears throat> and so we have to, if we want to spend time with these people or we live with these people or work with these people, we need to figure out some good coping strategies, right, to, to manage being around them. So one of the things I do that's a little woo-woo to some people, but I do do it. I learned it from Jack Canfield, and I and I it works for me anyway. So I like to suggest it is when I'm I am about to spend time with someone who I know is is typically very negative. I I sort of pretend that I'm putting an invisible protective shield around me because I tend to be a sponge where I soak in the energy of people around me. I'm a therapist, I'm a coach, and so I, I really invest in the emotional energy around me a lot. I do it professionally, I do it personally. And that can be very draining depending on the energy of the people around me. And so when I know I'm headed for someone who, who tends to be negative or at least does not have the kind of energy that I really want to soak in, I sort of pretend that I've got a protective shield around me. So things, their negativity, I say, bounces off of me instead of me soaking it up like a sponge. So when you're around negative people, don't be a sponge. You know, or if you are a sponge and you start to soak things up, then imagine yourself kind of squeezing it out and then put up your protective shield and just, just tell yourself anything that they try to share just bounces off of you and doesn't get inside, right? So that's kind of a little spiritual or visual activity you can do if you're into that kind of thing. In a more practical um with a more practical approach, another thing that we tend to do when we're a positive energy kind of person or optimistic kind of person, and we're in the midst of a negative person who's telling us how bad the world is or how bad the weather is or what's wrong now or gossiping or whatever they're doing that's, that's kind of negative focused, is we tend to think we need to convince them to change their minds, right? We're trying to be a positive influence on these people. So we'll say, yeah, but this and that and the other thing, I've done this. We do this, and honestly, what that does is sucks even more energy out of you and frustrates you even more, and then they're more frustrated, and it just, it generally doesn't help. It generally doesn't help. So you're not, most of the time, uh, you're probably not going to be able to turn that person's negativity around or convince them otherwise. If this is a long-standing pattern in their behavior, this is their general mode of operation. Because for them to switch around, they've really got to want to change and they've got to be really self-aware of that pattern in their life and then practice, 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 practice to turn it around. So you just saying... You know, if they say, oh, it's a cloudy, drippy day, and you say, oh, but it's the temperatures are pretty, pretty mild, actually, and I'm enjoying the fall colors, you're probably not going to change their mind and you'll just frustrate yourself. So I wouldn't work, spend your energy working on convincing them otherwise about what they believe about whatever it is that is, that is negatively focused. Another thing you can do is just say to yourself when this person or these kind, these people you know, there, there she goes again, there he goes again, or whatever, when you're in their presence, you can say in your mind, oh, yep, yeah, that's, that's, she's being herself, yeah, that's, or he's being himself, that's, that's exactly who I expect, expected they would be. In other words, you're not so, ugh, taken by it again, if you can just say to yourself, oh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's right, that's kind of how she operates in the world, that's how he operates in the world, so it's kind of a neutral 
a neutral statement of fact about the person, right? Instead of going, oh, there she goes again, there he goes again, oh, this drives me crazy, I can't believe it, you know, that kind of thing. So just tone it down for yourself by going, oh yeah, that's that's kind of what I've come to expect from this person when I'm around him or her, um, and that's too bad. You know, it's kind of too bad. Kind of feel for them, have some compassion because they're not happy people. Trust me, they are not happy people. No matter what their life looks like, otherwise they are not happy if they are constantly in that state of negativity. So if you can find a little bit of compassion in yourself and go, oh boy, I'm glad I'm not like that. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's that's her in that space again. Gosh, that is that's a shame because life's life's more fun than that. You know, we're really the lucky ones, those of us who are more optimistic and come from a more positive perspective honestly. So it's very important to stay in your own mood. You do not have to go, go down with them. If they're depressed, if they're angry, if they're negative about this, that, or the other, you don't have to spiral down with them. So make sure you stay in your mood, your own space, the kind of energy you wish to be in, no matter how much you know, you're getting the opposite from this person. So just stay in that frame of mind. Anything you have to do, whether it's some breathing exercises, some mindfulness, you know, where you're staying present with yourself, or if it's just, you know, ways you need to talk to yourself in your head when you're in their presence, or just by grinning and bearing it kind of, you know, and just being present with them and not disagreeing or not agreeing with them and just going, oh, Oh, um, okay. Yeah, well, this is what I've got going on today. So you might just, you know, change the subject after you've given them a moment of respect with whatever they're bringing up and, and then share something of your own and that's in your own kind of space and energy and, and do your best, you know, do the best you can. Um, and then if you can limit your time with this person, now I realize some of you are, are living with a person like this, some of you are working side by side with a person like this, some of you, you know, uh, anyway, um, if you can limit your, your time with this person, you might want to think about that if it's a person that you can limit your time with um, because that's putting a boundary around your own emotional safety and comfort level. And then the opposite of that is to surround yourself with positive minded people. So whether you can limit time or not with this negative person, I want you to add as much positivity as possible in your life, okay? Because the, the research says for every negative experience we have, we need five positive ones to kind of uh, douse it out. Okay, so for every one, we need five more. So if you've got one negative Nelly friend, go get yourself five really positive, happy people and spend more time with these five than you do with this one to offset. Another thing to do is to fill yourself with things that inspire you, bring you joy, you know, keep yourself on a high emotional plane by doing things you truly love, things you're truly passionate about, truly joy-filled about that inspire you and ignite your excitement in your life and put a smile on your face. Watch, you know, comedy routines or funny shows. Um, read, read things that inspire you or delight you. Um, you know, uh, be outside if you can. Being in nature boosts our immune systems and our, our, um, our moods. And, uh, you know, exercise boosts our, our mood too. So raise your joy level by doing all these other healthy things. So then when you're around a negative person, it doesn't, it doesn't have as strong of an effect on you. Okay, so... Again, making sure that every day you're doing things that you love. Actually, as I mentioned the other day, those of us who live our top five passions every day are the happiest, healthiest, most successful people out there. And so this is another lesson to us about dealing with negative people because if you're so busy living your passions, surrounding yourself with positive people, feeding your mind with, with music or information or experiences that bring you joy, that negative person will have less and less power to, to affect your mood and affect your days no matter how much time you spend with them. So those are my thoughts for today. If you'd like to talk more about that, you know, or if you need anything else, you know I'm a coach. I have private coaching programs, a 90-day private coaching program, and a year-long coaching program. And I would love to talk to you about those 
and what's going on in your life and see if we can, uh, if we can um, come together and do some awesome work together to transform your life so you can create your own definition of success and happiness. So let me know and I will talk to you again soon. Have a great day. Bye.